everyone welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing here a nice opening just a bit of a change of pace we've been doing deck profiles for so long and test dance as well and even for a certain period of time even reaper cast videos but we rarely get the opportunity to open a lot of products now and that was mainly because australia was kind of put in the lockdown for uh, quite a few months really which kind of sucked so we couldn't really go out to buy anything but right now, uh, we did and we just came out of lockdown uh, a few weeks ago, so that freedom is definitely really nice and liberating, of course. And uh, yeah, the first thing I went out and got was uh, this, so uh, definitely really fun, of course, really exciting. This is the 2021 Megatin, so with that being said, I'm excited to see what we can get in this. There are a lot of cards I'm interested in. Uh, we would love to perhaps upgrade our rarities for the Sacred Beast cards. I'm only looking for Hamon and Uriah now. I got everything else all upgraded, so that is already nice. Uh, the same thing applies for the Dogmatica cards. Hopefully I could pull some of those. Uh, but otherwise, everything else might be a nice surprise. The only thing I'm really disappointed about when it comes to this particular Megatin is really the fact that we're getting no promos in this so i'm a bit disappointed in that because uh, last year we got something really nice we actually got the uh, dark magician red eyes dragoon and that was just probably one of the best ever it caused the tins to sell out so if you didn't buy the tins like i did last year then i'm sure you're regretting it already we all missed out you know but i figure with this one no promos, but the cards or the reprints in this are so much better than last year's Megatin reprints. So with that being said, I'm just very excited to see what we get. So without further ado, let's just begin. Alright, so as we can see here, a lot of the, uh, the Konami thing here... It just falls out and it causes such a mess with all this, so I'm just going to brush it all aside for now. It even stuck to my hands as well, as we can see here. Really gross, but uh, I guess, I mean, that's just part of it, so what are we going to do? Just let me readjust the camera a bit. I'm going to take the tin here, and I really like how it kind of pops out a bit as well, all of this. So it's really nice here. Even the Dark Magician and Blue Eyes, very nice. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's open this up now. Uh, the nice thing is that the way they designed the tins now, it's a lot better for storage. So you could easily just put your cards in there and not worry too much about damage. But with that being said, we're here for the actual Mega Packs. So we have three of them, obviously, very nice. And there's nothing else in this tin, so it's really just a storage box. So I'm just going to close this up. Sorry about that. Really loud. And I'm just going to put this away for the time being. Because now we're looking forward to actually opening up all of these packs. And seeing what we get. So let's hope for the best. Alright, so first pack over here. Looks like we're opening it this way. So let's find out, I don't know the uh, card counting thing, where we put the back to the front, I don't know. We'll just have to go one by one and find out. So we have here Durama Dropper, I uh, don't remember this card whatsoever. We have Battle Survivor, Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. We have here Red Familiar, uh, Transcedic, Transicator, uh, very nice, uh, Eyes Ritual. We have our super rare here, Deep Sea Aria, not bad at all. It is somewhat generic enough, so you could actually make that work. We have here another super rare, Heavy Forward, which could be used in Infinity Tracks. We have here Mahama, the Fairy Dragon, so this is our uh, ultra rare. 
not the best definitely not the best at all so unfortunate but oh nice we have here area the water charm and gentle that's a lot better that's definitely a huge improvement and nice we have here a prismatic shadow schism which is not bad at all funnily enough before the reprints of these tins came out i actually paid like 50 dollars for this card and it was only an ultra rare so the fact that i got it like that so easily yeah i can't believe it but we have here a virtual world show jaja i mean it's a nice rarity bump i guess and then we have all of these other cards over here dogmatica nation so yeah there we go but i think that was okay let's see what we have in the next pack all right so next pack over here let's find out what we have we have salomon great zebroid z zebroid x sorry uh wind pegasus deep sea prima donna marine says great bubble reef we have eyeshadow witchcrafter unveiling our super rare is at emancipator seeker our second super rare is trap tricks alamaris not bad then for our oh we have here virtual world uh Zhezhi Gigi. so this is our ultra rare nice rarity upgrade i guess and we have opening of the spirit gates as another ultra rare and oh nice a virtual world hime nian nian as prismatic not bad at all but not particularly amazing either just a nice rarity bump and we have here our marine cess pascalis uh, not bad whatsoever for our rare and a few of these other reprints here there we go so so far uh not too much out of it but let's find out our final pack and let's hope that we get lucky with this one all right so let's see what we have over here we have our deep sea sentry marine says scrape bubble reef we have feed ran the winds of mischief mutually afford destruction very interesting here a lot of these i don't recall maybe it's because i just never bought these sets individually but i guess i'm finding out about them right now goki iron claw have that already uh we have rose girl okay interesting maybe i'll use this in my rose dragon deck we have super heavy samurai wagon for our first super rare and we have gravity controller as another super rare uh, very interesting a psychic monster i would have actually thought this might have been a cyverse uh oh dogmatica add in the enlightened so not bad uh, it is an ultra and we have here king beast barbaros not the most amazing but I guess that's uh, what we get, and we have here Seliglare, the Luminous Lunar Dragon. All right, as our prismatic, not particularly the most amazing, but I guess it'll have to do. And we have Virtual World Gates Ching Long, which is a rare, so I think that's a rarity bump, and a few of these other cards here as reprints. So there we have it, guys. We a bit unlucky on this one i don't think these were necessarily the best pulls because i was hoping to get some of the dogmatica cards but you know what i guess sometimes you can't expect everything to be uh too amazing here i gotta admit i mean this is not particularly the most amazing of pulls though maybe there's some things i don't know about so let me know i mean what do you think i think schism is not too bad and the nian nian is not bad as well area yeah that's okay as well i mean that's not too bad either but the rest don't seem to be uh up much at all i mean this was a pretty pricey tin as well so did i get my money's worth i don't know about that maybe i'll let you guys decide otherwise thanks for joining me today hope you guys have a fantastic day i'll see you all next time